Okay, so now we're ready to raise the motor and the engine up and we will I'm going to remove the bolts that secure the engine to this pallet and then I'll take these brackets out and take the pallet out and then we'll have the, the engine ready to rotate and mate it up with the with the transmission. I'd like to introduce Mr. Beam. Uh, it's basically a six inch by six inch square beam with a seven by seven square section of a beam and then an angle bracket with a half inch pin and with a swivel hook. So it's pretty convenient. It fits in nicely into the, these pockets on the, on the sides of my, my two post lift. It should easily be able to raise, you know, uh, 4,000 pounds. So this engine doesn't weigh 4,000 pounds. So we have lots of capacity here. Let's get this uh, pallet uh, removed. So what I've got is a chain kind of anchored down to this uh, engine, uh, engine mounting point. It's just a, a, a plate with a hole so I just ran the chain through and I'm just keeping the two halves of the chain together with a quarter inch bolt and I made sure that was tight. Then on this side I just have the chain um, threaded into this this very sturdy uh, point here on the engine so that should be plenty strong enough. So I'm going to use this beam or this setup to raise the engine up, remove the material handling equipment that's down here and then with the fact that I, I created this with a swivel hook we'll just rotate the engine 90 degrees we'll leave that there and then I'll get my floor jack put it up underneath the tractor here and I'll just push the tractor forward and we'll get the engine and the bell housing made it up so let's start so I'll go up Okay, so I'll grab my half inch socket, wrap it, three, I think this is three quarter inch, seven eighths. Oh, that was in there tight. We need to keep these bolts because these bolts here are used to to secure the engine to the the front frame rails. Okay. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at the size of this angle iron. That's like half inch thick. And look at the size of that bolt. That'll be, it'll be fun to come up with a project to reuse this stuff. So I'll, I'm gonna keep this, put it in my recycling area. In my garage, we don't waste anything. We reuse everything. What you hear running in the background, that's my propane fire, uh, my propane furnace, which is heating the garage. So here's another, another segment right here. Oh. There, finally, separated from the pallet. Thing is, this jack is is uh, very weak, 
and very I'm hoping that it will be strong enough for me to get this just lift it up temporarily now the problem with this jack is is that it doesn't it comes down so what I have to do is to take this out of the way and move this guy What we're gonna do is I'm gonna rely on the floor jack to be the wheels to draw the to draw this forward. Uh, I think this is neutral. I'm going to just try it. I'm going to remove the, the wheel tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to push the tractor forward. I'm not going to pay too much attention to alignment for now. I'm just going to bring it, bring it up. safe. My, uh, my lock is engaged so that that's also safe. Okay, so let me just get into it. I'll get the, I'll get the, the sealant installed. I'm going to put some lubrication right in here. I'm hoping that maybe by doing this it will engage nice.
Right now what I'm doing is I'm just installing the bolts that attach the engine to the bell housing. So I have the majority of them in now. I think all I have left to do is to put in the remaining two. Oh, let's go give this a little bit of a, of a torque. So I still have the engine secured to the the beam, like the lift, and I still have my two and a half ton uh, car jack underneath the transmission, just so you know. And I have a, um, a an engine stand propped up underneath the engine as well. So I have multiple multiple um, securing points, if you will. We'll come back in here after and tight torque these bolts down. Right now I just want to get the bolts in place. So I have two bolts down below in and I have two up here. And I have another two that go in, but I haven't found the hole yet or the location where they go in. So there you go, everyone. We have the engine almost fully mated to the transmission. This process was challenging. I'm glad that we have a cement floor that's more or less flat and even. I'm glad we have this two post lift with the, the beam. Even with all that, it was still a challenge to get the alignment uh, correct. So moving this beam up and down in small amounts, moving the trolley jack up and down small amounts. I even had a little two ton trolley jack to rotate one side of the engine uh, slightly so with all that we, we finally got it so the engine is mated to the bell housing there it is in all its glory the three cylinder engine is now fully mated to the bell housing or the the transmission part of the tractor